Dorchester County, Maryland. Uh, I got a bit of 14, I got to make it a half. I got a bit of 14, I got to make it a half. 14, 50, I got a bit of 14, 50. Do I hear 15? Do I hear 15? 15 the bit. I got a bit of 15, I got to make it a half. I got a bit of 15, I got to make it a half. I got a bit of 15, I got to make it a half. 15, 50. I'm offered 15, 50. Do I hear 16? Do I hear 16? 16 the bit. I got a bit of 16, I got to make it a half. How much is one human being worth to another? I got a bit of 16, I got to make it a half. 16, 50. Thank you, sir. I got a bit of 16, 50. I'm gonna make it a half, I'm gonna make it a 17. Turn around there, boy, so the gentleman can see you. In 1850, a slave has only one sure route to freedom, and that is escape. <laughs> Please sit down. Now, what can I do for you, Mrs. Tubman? I want a job, Mr. Steele. Yes? I want to become a conductor. All our conductors are men. It's not women's work. I never did a day of woman's work in my life till I was 20. Strong as a mule. Here, show you how strong. I believe you. Do you realize that once you step across that state line, you are a slave again? An escaped slave with a reward on your head? <laughs> Not much of a reward. I was never worth anything. Nobody buy a damaged property. I'm going to have to be a conductor. Ain't got any choice, Mr. Steele. Lord's not letting me alone. Keeps pestering me near to death with dreams. Dreams of slave ships. Chains. Seas of blood. He wants me to be a conductor. Not afraid? Lord, call me. Lord will protect me. And I saved my money and bought this thing. I've been practicing in the woods outside of town on my day off. What part of Maryland are you from, Harriet? Tidewater. You still have family there? Yes. Now, this whole area right now is very dangerous. These lines represent the best routes and the circles of different stations along the railroad. You're going to have to memorize all of them. Can't put anything on paper in case you get caught. Can't read anyway. As feeling mounted against slavery, so did the exodus of slaves escaping north. An organization was formed to aid them composed mainly of Quakers, abolitionists, and escaped slaves. It was known as the Underground Railroad, and its members used common railroad terms to mask their activities. 
Those who actually went into the South, risking their lives, to fill a train with passengers, as they were called, were known as conductors. Philadelphia for a year. Free woman. I'll come back to take you all north. You and Tilly, old Ben and Rit, William Henry and Mary Ann. On the Underground Railroad. Run away? Run away. You want to be free, don't you? That baby coming to be free. Now, I've been free. I know what slavery is. Slavery is the next thing to hell. I don't know about William Henry, but old Ben and Rhett, too old to travel. Old Ben's sick. Been feeling awful poly lately. We plan to go have Fourth of July dinner with them day after tomorrow. And there I am. Well, what's wrong? Mary Ann is gone, Hat. Where? Master Thompson been having a bad time. Can't make enough money just hiring everybody out. Talks on the wind that he's gonna have to start a big sale any day now. Where may I am? He come and got her yesterday. She's at Cambridge. Gonna be sold tomorrow. Oh, sure knew the right time to send me down here. You too. Get ready to travel. Just act like you're going to Old Ben's for the 4th of July. Go tomorrow night and hide yourself in the father house. I'll be back with Mary Ann. But have. Tell William Henry I say. <sighs> All her life, Harriet was subject to strange, sudden spells of somnolence, a direct result of a head wound she'd received as a child when she was 13 years old. The scar on her forehead remained. It became a symbol of strength to the many who were to recognize her by it and call her Moses. And the uncontrollable sudden spells of catatonic sleep remained, from which she would awake, unaffected, hours later, as if nothing had happened. <laughs> huh? You all right? How long have I been asleep? Hours, I reckon. Can't waste no more time. Now, you two meet me in the father house tomorrow night with William Henry. I got to get. Where are you going, Hat? I got a lot of things to do before then.
Rue, give me a half. I got a bit of 17. 17 is bid. I got a bit of 17. I'm to make it a half. I got a bit of 17. I'm to make it a half. 17. Going once. Going twice. Sold to Mr. John Childs for $1,700. Gentlemen, there'll be a one hour interval while we have lunch. Then we'll come back here and commence the sale of the females. For real good food, there's the Cornucopia Tavern right across the street. A gal here named Mary Ann Ross. What do you want her for? Master wants me to get her. There's a buyer wants to look at her in the tavern. Mary Ann Ross. Follow her. Complaining and get up in that loft and hide. When John and his woman come, tell him I said, wait till I get back. Where are you going? I'm going after John Thomas. John Thomas? Oh, you don't want to go to your old cabin, had you? <coughs> Who was it? Just a rat, honey. Now get up there. Go on. Had you think there any rats up here? and me here, Hank. William Henry? William Henry ain't coming, Hank. He say he got a good job working over the carriage house. Gonna get married pretty soon. Did you see John Thomas, Hat? How long after I left did he wait before he took his new wife? About a month. Her name is Caroline. Caroline. He wasn't no good, Hat. He was lazy, made you do all the work. That ain't for you. No. That's what the Lord seems to say, ain't it? <sighs> we got to get. We lost most of the dock already. Come morning, there'll be word out about Mary Ann. Ain't we even gonna say goodbye to old Ben and Rit? I'm hungry, Hat. 
Just hush complaining until you got something to complain about. But don't take it out on me, because John Thomas got a new wife. I can't help it. Go on, get it. John, I can't go now. You go on. Go on. It's near her time, Hat. You can't stay here. Go on. Please go on. Come on, Hat. Come on and they'll have word out about me. Get them dogs out. Hush up. Oh. We'll wait for you. We'll wait for the Lord to bless you. Lord's watching over us. Got his eye over us. Oh. Got his hands over us. Silly. You just leave me with it, John. You'll just be in our way. Don't be an independence, John. dark again. Too dangerous to start out now. Too many folks on the road for Fourth of July. I'm hungry. got a new grandson. We all in here. Grandson? You're running away? You're... Come on in, Ray. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I ain't coming in. I ain't gonna look at you. I ain't even gonna tell old Ben you're out here or run away either. Just upset and scare him. And he'd be trying to go along with you. It's going to break his heart. Because he's been expecting his boys for July 4th dinner. I'm hungry, Mama. Don't worry, baby. I got a lot of food on the table there. And Mom's going to bring it out to you later on if she can. And I'll leave it by the door. Yeah. I just can't see your hat. Mom just can't see you. did was to look down at my hands to see if I was the same person now that I was free. There was such a glory over everything. The sun came like gold through the trees and over the fields. 
and I thought I, I just felt like I was in heaven. It's me, Rit. Let me in. I ain't gonna see you children. But I just got to touch each and every one of you before you go away. Now's the time for you to be going, Hat. If you wait till it's dark, there's going to be a lot of folks on the road heading for home. So I'd go now, baby, if I was you. You get that open strong, Red, and I'll be back for you soon. you quit squalling. How you expect to be any help to Hat if you're going to be squalling all the time? Now smile. If you don't smile, I ain't going to let you go. Yes, Mama. Can I hold my grandson, Tilly? What you going to call him, John? I'll call him Ben, Mom. Bye, Mama. God bless you. Sometimes, if you can't see the North Star hat, just remember the moss grows on the north side of the tree. The good Lord's made the pathway plain. Which way is north? And... Hat? One of my children come home this year, and I kept a looking and a waiting for him all day long, and my heart's most broke about it. Uh, Rit, she cooked up them ribs you sent us. My boys know I'm ailing. Did you see them, Rit? No, sir, Mars Thompson. I ain't seen one of them. She's lying. I'm not lying, Mars Thompson. I ain't seen them. I believe you, Rip. But heaven help them, they're caught outside this county. They're getting hard on... Joe Bailey! 
Tom. Here. I thought you'd come to catch me. That's my sister, Pat. She with the railroad. Joe run away from the water place across the bay. How'd you know that? Everybody talking about it. Must the Walla die? Just broke his arm. What happened, Joe? After the widow died, I... I got sold to Master Walla. First morning I was there, he called me out in the yard, stripped down and take a beating. I said, what had I done to get a whipping for? He said, Joe, first thing I teach all my property is who's the master here. So take your beating and We'll get along fine. He had four boys out there waiting. Jumped me. Tied me up under a tree. Started in. I jerked on the rope. I pulled a dead branch out of the tree and I hit Mr. Waller. Then I ran. Look at his back hat. May I go get me some wet leaves for a poultice? John, give Joe your vest so he can cover his back. You ain't got no time for no doctrine. I've been lost for two days. You know the way. I know the way. Let's move on. Let's go. All down. Stand, move yeah. fast enough. She's going with us. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening to thee. Oh, I'm sorry to have wakened you. I wasn't asleep. Well, uh, we're looking for some runaway slaves. Oh, I see. Have you seen any runaways? No. Well, uh, it isn't that I doubt your word, but uh, I'd like to have a look around, if you don't mind. Please, come. There are no slaves in my house. when thine enemy falleth, and let not thine heart be glad when he stumbleth. 
Oh, this is my parlor, my loom, my chair. I have three other chairs and my harpsichord. Well, that's very nice, but... Uh... Take the lamp. I don't need it. Well, thank you, ma'am. This door leads to where, ma'am? My kitchen. And this door? My storeroom. <laughs> that leads to my bedroom. Go right up. Pardon this intrusion, but they're my best slaves, and I can't afford the loss. Again, my apology, and thank you, and good night. Good night. Please understand, I have no intentions of punishing them or anything of the sort. I uh, just want them back. On. But come morning, they'll be back. They'll question all the neighbors. We must hide thyselves in the swamp. The swamp? Come, I'll point thee the way. They must wait there till a sign is given. No matter how long, they must wait. A sign will be given. Water to me. No, I can't go on anymore, John. We've got to stop. I'm so cold. And the baby's gonna die. I want to go back. Please take me back. Please, I don't care what happens to us. You heard what he said. He wouldn't hurt us. I'll take you back, Tilly. <laughs> you ain't going. Pat! I'd kill both of you before I let you go back. Now get on up there. You... Go on! Tell them where we're at. Get the folks who helped us in trouble. No, sir. We all gone. The worst thing I can think of is get caught now, John. I seen Waller take spite on a runaway who come back of his own doing. If I see they're gonna catch me, take me back. I'll cut my own throat. I looked over Jordan, and what did I see? How long do you think we'll have to stay in this swamp, Pat? Coming for to carry me home. Oh, a day at least, maybe more. She said someone would come with the sign. A band of angels coming after me. Coming for to carry me home. I'm cold, Hat. Oh. 
swing low. Sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low. Sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. Table. The harness hangs on a nail. My wagon stands in the barnyard of the next farm across the way. The horse is in the stable. The harness hangs on a nail. My wagon stands in the barnyard. Around him, Martin, always ready to obey command. They are always hovering around you. Is this the heavenly land? The Lord sent it. He sent us the sign. For one day and one night, Harriet's party had the luxury of riding a wagon north. Under there. Get down. Oh, don't be such a crouch head. We're safe now. You said yourself they ain't gonna follow us this far. I'm afraid we've got the worst to come yet. More than once, their path crossed that of bounty hunters headed south with recaptured runaways. We'll cross the road one at a time. All right, now, John, you first. Go. Tilly? Now. Marianne? Now. All right, now, Joe. Now. since she was a little girl. It's time when nobody gets spells. She'll get me caught. Joe! Joe! The dog's got someone. It must be those runaways. Let's get them. Two, three hours. Where's Joe? He run away. Run away? I couldn't stop him, Matt. He just got scared and run. Well, we got to find him. Let him go. I'd forget him. Don't go lose him, Tilly, any more than I'd lose you. Which way'd he go, John? 
You struck out that way, Hat. They're right behind me. They're seeing me. Help me. Don't let them catch me. Help me. Come on, Joe. Run. Run. Three days later, exhausted, desperate, sick, they were in Wilmington, the last of the Underground Railroad stations. Thomas Garrett, a Quaker, had been tried and convicted in 1844 for breaking laws covering fugitive slaves. Now he was station master on the last and the most dangerous leg of their journey, the crossing into Pennsylvania, to freedom. The time has come now. They will have to cross the bridge during the day. It is dangerous, but even worse at night. The police have barricaded the bridge. They check every wagon. Joe? I got a bad feeling. Same feeling I had the morning I was called out by Masawala. I mean what I say. I killed myself before I let him catch me. I know that, Joe. It's time. Now you get up there. going with us? She's been waiting around here for two days. That's all we need. There are too many of us. There ain't no room. When Moses went down into Egypt, Joe, he didn't stand around counting heads for to leave any of his people behind. Now help Lydia get in. He had better go now. It is getting late. Careful of Joe. Calm him. Mm. He must not panic. And God bless thee.
up in for? Pull that wagon up here. We'll have to search that wagon. Have a look inside. What are these brick for, boy? Going to build us a new meeting house right outside of Philadelphia. Seen any runaway slaves around, son? No, sir. Because with rewards like that. When I get home, I got a mind to get me a gun and go hunting. All right, go on. My thanks to thee. Pull up there. returned 19 times into Maryland between 1850 and 1860, personally conducting over 300 souls out of bondage. During these years, her legend grew. Rewards totaling over $40,000 were offered for her capture, dead or alive. Known as the Moses of her people, she died on March 10th, 1913. Her epitaph reads, with implicit trust in God, she braved every danger and overcame every obstacle. With all, she possessed extraordinary foresight and judgment, so that she truthfully said, on my underground railroad, I never run my train off the track, and I never lost a passenger. <laughs> 